-huh. Aquí decimos que venga al parque. No sé, ok, yo ya voy a ver. Es que lo voy a ir a saber si está ahí. ¿Y se lo trajo? Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good Hi. Teacher. Good evening. How are you guys? Fine. And you? Fine. Thank you. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. I was hoping for this moment to get started with our class. So how are you going so far with the platform? ¿Qué tal vamos con esa plataforma? Ya mañana nos toca hacer el midterm exam. Aquí lo vamos a hacer. All right. ¿Qué tal vamos? Ya vamos por la mitad al menos. At least. Sí, vamos bien. <laughs> yes. All right, excellent, Eva. Very good. Thank you. Yes, guys. Um, my, my advice for you is to keep moving forward, right? And you can practice on the platform, but remember that we always practice in here in the class. But most of the time, you should be able to work in the platform the exercises. La mayoría del tiempo ya saben que tienen que utilizarlo para cubrir la información que se les piden de los ejercicios en la plataforma. Y siempre, como siempre, vamos a practicar aquí en la clase, all right? So let's get started, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. It's a pleasure to have you. I hope you are great, all right? Espero que todos se encuentren bien y que ya estén listos para iniciar la clase. Let's check, what do you do? Beginners to class seven. Let's check. Do you remember, my friends? Se recuerdan. O nos acordamos. Let's check. We have these questions. No son questions. Son como statements, right? Mention at least three places that you learned last class. Tres lugares que ustedes aprendieron la clase pasada. Recuerdan que teníamos el vocabulary de jobs. Luego teníamos el vocabulary de places. Y luego teníamos el vocabulary de activities. All right. So let's check if you remember the places. Let me see. Carlos Antonio, tell me three places, please. Hello, Carlos, are you there? Ah, let me check. Hello, teacher. Hello, eh, no, good evening. Eh, perdón, me dijo, no entendí mucho, además me acabo de conectar. All right, no worry, no se preocupe. Necesito que me diga al menos tres de los lugares. Ah, ok. ¿Cuál es en este momento solo podemos alertar a la población a que por favor... Eh, hospital. Hospital, ajá. 
and office, office. store. A store, excellent. Hotel. Very good, sir. A hotel, excellent. Bravo, thank you. Okay. You guys, I know that you are probably tired, all right? Yo comprendo que quizás estamos un poco cansados, ya es miércoles, pero piensen en esto. Lo positivo de esto es que ya mañana es su última clase de la semana. And you can rest your long weekend, all right? Van a poder descansar en su fin de semana largo de clases, of course. Let's check. Let's go with number two. Mention at least three activities that you recall. Ahora sí, tres actividades que usted recuerda. Let me check. Mm. Yami, Yami Rajo, please, tell me three activities that you remember. Activities of job. Mm -hmm. the yes. Activities. yes. Se recuerda que teníamos un cuadrito amarillo con los places, right? Y a la par teníamos las activities. Ah. Yeah. Uh, uh, waitress. Those are the jobs. Esos son los trabajos. Las activities, for example, wears a uniform. Ah, ok. Um, for example, the cashier. Uh, he sit on day. He okay. sit on day. Mm -hmm. uh, the receptionist. Mm -hmm. uh, She's uh, answers the the calling of the day, uh -huh. and uh -huh. she she sits too. It's true. She sits all day. Uh -huh. All right. Excellent, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry, everybody. Let's put ourselves thinking. All right. Let's check. Just a segura. And I can bet, apuesto que ustedes tienen ese vocabulario en sus cuadernos, right? Solo recuerden, tenemos los jobs, que son las profesiones o los trabajos de las personas. Luego tenemos los eh, places, places, porque eran como cinco lugares los que les pusimos ahí, right? Places, que son los lugares donde las personas laboran. And then you have activities, las actividades que estas personas hacen. Tenemos... Continuamos con este vocabulary y les continúo preguntando porque hoy vamos a trabajar con eso. Diferentes estructuras que ya las van a ver, pero súper interesantes poniendo en práctica el vocabulary. Let me check. Eh, Angel, tell me three activities that you recall. ¿Qué usted recuerda? Okay. Activities of the day. ¿Se me escucha? Yes. Ah, va. <laughs> ok. Eso es lo que tenía yo también un poco de confusión, porque eh, estaba leyendo, eh, bueno, cuando leí activities pensé que era lo mismo que trabajo, pero son, no. son diferentes, o sea, es lo que uno realiza en el trabajo. Okay. Um, talk to people, stay all day, uh -huh. y en mi caso, dry all day. And drives all day. All right, excellent. Yay, very good. Very good, Angel. Excellent. Now it's you see, guys. <laughs> all right. Um, let's check. See, sí, justo como mencionó Angel, right? Um, cuando les puse el vocabulary, vaya. Ellos tienen la palabra jobs, right? Jobs, que significa trabajos o profesiones, como lo solemos decir aquí, all right? Un profesional ah, trabaja en, I don't know, he's a doctor or he's a flight attendant, right? Entonces, esos son los jobs o las profesiones. Luego tienen los lugares que es donde estas personas laboran, que en todo caso sería hospital, in a store, in an office, right? And then you have the activities. Cuando nos referimos a las activities, eh, pues a lo que ellos hacen el día a día, right? Por ejemplo, una persona que trabaja en un call center pasa sentada todo el día, right? Sits all day. Mientras que tal vez una nurse eh, stands all day, pasa para todo el tiempo, todo el día. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Now, before we, before we move forward, let me check. All right, we have this conversation. Yesterday, we only have a couple of pairs that they participate in this conversation. 
Solo tuvimos algunas parejas que participaron en esta conversation y les dije a los demás, como necesito que practiquemos esta parte del conversation, right, de un real life study, de algo que sea real para ustedes, tenemos que practicar con esta conversation. También vamos a tener otra durante la jornada de clase, pero es más pequeña. All right, y esto tiene un poco más de información. So let's check, let me go. Marta Argueta, you are Rachel. Nancy Gutierrez, you are Angela. Action. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's from the agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. Saying too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. Sound funny. My brother works three two. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he, he is the manager. All right, excellent. Thank you, girls. Very good. That was a good warming up. Now, let me get into the business with you guys. Here we go. Listen up. We'll start the conversation once again. Thank you, Nancy and Marta. Very good. It's good that you were sure. practicing. Now, I'm going to do the conversation again. Solo por si tal vez en la práctica, antes de practicar nos olvidamos de cómo se pronunciaba algo, right? Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's... That's, that's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's, that's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. All right, porque hice mucha intonation en las S. Porque, aunque todo lo demás lo estemos pronunciando muy bien, a veces se nos puede olvidar eh, pronunciar esas S, right? Que sí hacen la diferencia porque dan a entender algo más, right? Como los possessives, como el verb to be, all right? So we need to make sure that we are pronouncing correct. Let me go with Alejandro Garcia, please. You are Rachel, usted es Rachel. And Daisy Carolina, you are Angela. Action. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He he's a front that's agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. Was Hotel does he work for the plaza? That's funny. My brother works where to where to oh that is interesting. What does he do? Actually. He's the manager. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Let me check. Alejandro, repeat after me. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Excellent. One more time, Alejandro, okay. please. Una vez más. Eh, solo de... Oh, that is interesting. Ajá, uh -huh. excellent. Very good. There you have it. Ya, con eso está perfect. Um, okay. Let me check. Where is the... Daisy, please, repeat after me. Actually. 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 Excellent. Very good. Thank you, girl. Now let me go with Cecilia Rivas. 
Hello, Cecilia. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Una pregunta, ¿usted participó ayer en esta conversation? No. No. All right, excellent. Very good. Ah, pues sí, porque no la, no la tengo en uh -huh. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, Cecilia, you are Rachel and Douglas Alvarez, you are Angela. Action. Okay. Uh, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a, pardon, he's a front desk agent. Agent. How does he like it? No very much. He doesn't like the manager. Does too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny, my brother worked there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? I, uh, no la puedo pronunciar, teacher. Repeat after me, actually. Actual. Actually. Literal, como se llevara I al final, actually. Actual. Mm -hmm. Actually, he's the manager. Mm -hmm. He's Excellent. the manager. Very good. Bravo, Douglas and Cecilia Rivas. Sí. Now, guys, let's move with somebody else. Let me have Carla Lemar. Hey, Carlita, you are Rachel and Norma Gonzalez, you are Angela. Action. Where uh, does your brother work? In a hot hotel. Oh, really? My brother work in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. Esa palabra no sé cómo se pronuncia. Agent. Agent. Gracias. Thank you. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't. He doesn't. L like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interest interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. That's correct. Excellent, girls. Very good job. No mistakes. We're doing good. All right, everybody. Let's pass to the following. These questions. Yesterday, some of you practiced with these questions. Some others didn't because of the time. Now, let's check what happens over here. You have WH questions with do, right? Si recuerdan que teníamos Las yes or no questions con los auxiliares, right? Do and does. Teníamos las yes or no questions. Ahora tenemos las WH questions. Siempre con los auxiliares do or does. Let's check this one. Let me ask. William Liborio, you ask. Usted pregunta. Yami Rajo, you answer. The first three questions. Okay. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, where do you work? In a hospital. Where does he work? In a hotel. Where do you they work? In a restaurant. Todas, teacher? No, only those three. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm just checking that we don't forget the pronunciation, All right? Excellent. Let me go with Arnoldo Castellón. Please, the other three, the second line. The second line, estas otras tres questions. Good evening. Good okay. Evening. To Damaris Vega, please. Okay. What do you do? I am a doctor. What does he do? He's a manager. What do they do? They are waiters. And that's correct, okay. excellent. Thank you. Okay. Let's Thanks. go with Ana Maritza, the last round, right? La última fila. 
You ask. Muere. Jacqueline Hola. Campos, you answer. What, the, what do How? you like? How do you like it? How do you like it? Mm -hmm. Jacqueline, ¿Me escucha? Yes, sí la escuchamos. Hello, Jacqueline. <coughs> Maybe she's not there. Let me choose somebody else. Eva Argueta, usted contesta estas questions, please. Okay. Much. What do you like it? How do you like it? I really like How it. How do you like it? How really... does he like it? Perdón. Hi, does he like it? It's okay. Hi, does do they like it? They they had it. Hate it. Excellent. Thank you, girls. All right. Now, everybody, let's keep ourselves focused on here. All right. No nos olvidemos de estas pronunciations. Ya la mayoría o todos conocemos cuáles son las WH words, right? Inclusive esta de how, recordemos que para eso tenemos que abrir oh. bien la boca. How. How. Right? how. Excellent. That's correct. So, then you have how do you like it? Or how does he like it? Or how do you like it? Do they like it? Sorry. Ah, okay, don't worry, Jacqueline. Thank you. All right, guys. Listen up. After this. We need to see this structure. WH questions structure. Tenemos la estructura. Right? Antes de empezar a trabajar, quiero que veamos esta estructura. Let me check. Um, Alba Duarte, please tell me the structure. Me dice la estructura. Good evening. Good evening, Alba. Welcome. Es W H. No sé cómo se dice ese menos. Ah, no, W H word. Es W. Ah, uh, okay. Word plus do and does plus subject más complement. Excellent. Very good. And question mark. No nos olvidemos, everybody. Como son preguntas, llevan question mark, right? Now, let's check this one. Give me All right, let's check this one. Um, William, tell me these two questions, please. Me lee estas dos preguntas. Where does Maria work? What does he do? Exactly. Simple as that, right? ¿Qué tan simple? Seguimos la fórmula. WH word and where. Do or does, dependiendo de mi sujeto, right? En este caso, como los dos son Maria and he son tercera persona, utiliza does. And then, el subject, que sería Maria, he, y el complement, right? Work or do, right? So far, hasta aquí, ¿tienen alguna duda o consulta de la estructura? Antes de que lo trabajen ustedes. No question. No questions. Excellent. All right. What are you going to do next? ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita, everybody? Pay attention. No les puse aquí las instructions. Solo se las voy a decir. Van a trabajar una question con do y una question con does. All right. Es decir, una question in first person singular and another question with third person singular. All right. Let's work on that one, please. Trabajemos en eso. Utilizando esta estructura.
teacher, eh, me quedé sin, sin audio. Eh, no sé si, si la molesto con que me, me indique, por favor. Yes, Carlita, don't worry, no se preocupe. Ahorita le digo. Tenemos la estructura aquí, right? Eh, si puede ver la pantalla, me confirma. Tenemos la estructura. Yes. Basada en esta estructura, ustedes van a crear sus dos ejemplos de questions, de preguntas, utilizando en una la first person singular, la primera persona singular, y en otra pregunta, la tercera persona singular. All right? Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Excellent, Yami. We're going to give two more minutes. Vamos a dar dos minutos más y luego empezamos. All right? Remember, guys, that you can change the WH words. Recuerden que pueden hacer uso de las otras WH words. Um, for example, el how. Yo easily, fácilmente puedo cambiar y decir, en vez de decir, where does Maria work? Puedo decir, how does Maria work? ¿Cómo trabaja Maria? Right? How does Maria work? Y estoy haciendo uso de otra WH word. Una pregunta, teacher, por ejemplo, la oración, where does your family work? Es correcto. Yes, it's correct, sir. Oh, oh, ok. All right, let's get started with Jami. Let's see, Jami, tell me your, your questions. Yo sigo diciendo sentences y son preguntas. <laughs> All right, tell me, Jami. Yes. Yes, teacher. Uh, what do you Se le trabó el audio, Yami. Si quieren me la réplica de regreso. What do you do in your job? Ah, what do you do at your job? Very good. Uh, what does Maria in the hospital? What does? Maria in the hospital. Ah, what does Maria in the hospital? Um, ¿Usted quiere preguntar qué hace Maria en el hospital? Ajá, uh -huh. sí. Vale. Entonces ahí va a utilizar también el verb do. What does Maria do in the hospital? Uh, okay. y, y es correcto, in the hospital. Pues at the hospital. Puede ser at or in, no hay ningún problema. Right. Gracias. Very good, Yami. Thank you. Let's go with Angel. Angel, se acaba de conectar, Angel, porque no lo miraba. ¿Cómo no? All right. Ah, pues se me había perdido ahí porque no lo miraba. ¿En serio? Yes, no parecía. All right. I was scrolling down. Estaba bajando y subiendo porque para ver quiénes habían finalizado, right? No lo miraba. Ajá. Ok. Excellent, Angel. Va, okay. Tell me your questions. Where do you study? En... 
What does she like to do on weekends? What does she like to do on weekends? Clever, excellent. Thank you. Let, let me go. Cuando les digo clever, me refiero a que son, están excelentes sus sentences, right? Clever es una persona inteligente, pero al mismo tiempo astuta, right? Así que no se le digo porque no quiero que piensen mal. Clever es algo bueno, right? Let's go with Mark. <laughs> yes, you, it's a synonym of intelligent, genius, right? Ajá, Martita, tell me. And after Marta, Douglas, porque yo creo que Douglas también ya finalizó. Action, Marta. Okay. What time does he take the bus? When do they cook to, to the restaurant? Oh, excellent. Very good, Marta. Excellent. Let me go with Douglas. I think it was Douglas Alvarez, luego after Douglas Eva y after Eva Alba. Okay, teacher. It's where does your family work? Mm -hmm. What does he what does she on Saturdays? No sé, ahí um, quiero decir, o sea, ¿qué hace ella los sábados? Sí, está on perfecta. Saturday. Solo agréguele el do. What does she do on Saturdays? What does she do? Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Excellent. What does she do? Recuerden que aquí ya ese do está actuando like a verb, right? Ya no es un auxiliary, ya es un verb de la acción que está realizando. Excellent. Let me go with Eva and after Eva Alba. Okay. Where does she want to play? What does she do for a living? Very good. Excellent. Very clever. En realidad esas son preguntas que hacemos comúnmente, right? Excelente. Action Alba. Okay. Where do they work? Where does Carlos live? Live. Live. Uh -huh. <laughs> Excellent. Bravo, Alvita. Very good. Clever questions. Preguntas muy inteligentes. Excellent. What do the children do? Yes. What does Marlon do in the gym? Ah, uh, what does Marlon? Uh -huh. Do in the in the gym? Uh -huh. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Alba. Very good. It's sample of questions. Let me check. Do I have another volunteer? Ah, uh -huh. Ceci. Excellent. Why does she sleep? What does he in the supermarket? All right. En la número uno, Ceci, ¿qué quiere preguntar? Your microphone, Marta. Se le apagó el micrófono. ¿Por qué está dormida? Ay, why. Entonces va a utilizar why, el por qué. Ah, yo, ajá, yo le escribí why does she sleep? Ajá, excellent, very good. Yo le escuché what, creo que yo le escuché what. Ah, All right. okay. Pero está bien, excellent. Ceci. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent, very clever questions. <laughs> Pero no le pregunté eso a alguien, Ceci. <laughs> ¿Por qué duerme? Soy cómoda. <laughs> Let's go with Norma. Where do Stephanie and Victor work? In a bank. Where does she live? She live in the city. Uh -huh, excellent. Very good, you guys. Ahorita también peludito, everyone. Excellent. Very good job. I like it. I love it. Creí que dije yo, bueno, ya es miércoles, van a estar bien cansados. Dije, ponerlos a practicar más, pero no, hombre, están excellent. Very good. Estamos chispas. All right, entonces, como me faltan algunos todavía, voy a empezar ya a preguntar a los que no me levantaron la mano, right? Let me check. O nos van a salvar como otras veces. Let's see, William Liborio, tell me your questions. Estoy contento, amigo. <risa> ok, eh, la primera. Where does he eat? What do they play? What do they play? What do they play? Uh -huh. eh, ¿Qué juegan ellos? Uh -huh. Ajá. Esas dos serían. Like, 
It's correct. Very good, William. Ya ve, no quería pasar y están bien sus, sus questions. Very clever. Simple and clever. Ya ven, sencillas, pero muy inteligentes, right? Porque son preguntas que hacemos in everyday basis. And a diario. Let me go with Arnoldo Castellón, please. Okay. Where do you buy the coffee? Mm -hmm. What does a pilot do? Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. And you use that vocabulary. Excellent. Okay. Let me go with Cecilia Rivas, please. Este, bueno, voy a ver. <laughs> Una muy sencilla. Eh, eh, where do they study? Ah, uh -huh, very good. Y quiero ver, eh, what does your brother at his job? Very good. What does your brother do? What does your brother eh, at his job en su trabajo? ¿Cómo exactly. se, ¿Cómo se uh -huh. Sí, está bien. At, at his job or at his work. Solamente que tiene que utilizar el at, do. Uh -huh. Porque es la acción que le das. What, uh -huh. what does... Uh -huh. your, uh, what does your brother do? Y después, do his yo at, do at his ah, yeah, yeah. Aquí se le Sería, What does your brother uh -huh. sí. do at his job? Uh -huh. Ah, okay, gracias. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. Very good. Jamen. Perfect questions. Now you guys, let's see. Como tenemos más prácticas, los que no lograron pasar ahorita van a pasar en las siguientes. All right, let me go with this. Placement of objectives and conversation that's exciting. All right, ustedes van a poder notar en esta presentation que tengo para este día. Espero que tengan papel para escribir, right? Porque tenemos esta conversation, pero vamos a ver el placement of adjectives. ¿Dónde vamos a localizar nuestros adjectives? Y ¿dónde vamos a localizar nuestros nouns también, right? Tenemos, vamos a ver dos estructuras. B plus adjective. Y también vamos a ver adjective plus noun. Which it's always easy. Let's check. That's exciting, right? Eso es emocionante. Let's check. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. These students are terrific. How are things with you? Cuando dice terrific, no se refiere a que es terrible, ¿verdad? Como nosotros decimos en Spanish, terrible. No, terrific para ellos es como algo super genial, right? Super cool. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now. You know, that's exciting. Yeah, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous, All right? Aunque para ella es emocionante, él dice, sí, claro que sí, ahorita. Él dice que no lo es tanto, All right? ¿Por qué? Porque es muy estresante y porque puede ser muy peligroso, All right? Dangerous. Dangerous, peligroso, stressful, estresante, right? Keywords, palabras claves para ustedes. Now, let me go with firefighter es un bombero, right? Now I'm gonna ask some of you to practice. Let's check. Carla Alemán, you are Stephanie. Angel Cano, you are Richard. <clears throat> Action. Hey, hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am teaching what at Lincoln. High Lincoln school. High School. Lincoln, perdón, Lincoln High School. Mm -hmm. How do you like it? It great. The uh, students are terrific. What are you doing with you? Not bad. I'm fire, fire, fire. firefighter. I am a fire. 
fire, fighter. Okay. No fire. No fire. I am a fight, fight, fighter. Mm -hmm. Now, you know. That is the exciting. 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 Yes, but it's a very stressful. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. That's correct. That's correct. Thank you, Angel and Carlita. Very good job. Let's check. Imagino, Angel and Carla. Una vez más. Five. ¿Ah? Es algo, es como trabalengua. Five mm -hmm. fighter. Yes. Así. En realidad, ahorita se lo vamos a decir despacito, pero en realidad esa palabra es corrida, right? Ese nombre es corrido. Firefighter. Firefighter. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Y lo dicen firefighter. Ah, firefighter. Exactly. Y eh, exciting, ¿cómo es? Exciting. Exciting. Thank mm -hmm. you. Exactly. Stressful está bien. Sí, stressful está bien, que significa demasiado estresado, right? Estresante. And okay. dangerous. Very good. Now, let's go with somebody else, right? Ya, se no, ya notan ustedes que en esta conversation tiene un, a comparación de la que hicieron ayer y también ahora en el warming up, esta es, tiene palabras un poco más rebuscadas y también más difíciles, right? Let's check. Let's go with Ceci Hernández. You are Stephanie. And Carlos Antonio, you are Richard. Hi, Stephanie. I heard you heard and you how? Yes, I'm a teacher. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? No, but I am firefighter now. Do you know? That's exciting. Yes, but it's very stressful. How? And something dangerous. That's correct, sir. Thank you, Ceci and Carlos. Okay, Carlos, repeat after me. Job. Perdón? Job. Job. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Right? Job. And okay. sometimes. And sometimes. Sometimes. La E no se pronuncia. Sometimes. And sometimes. Excellent, sir. Very good. Sometimes. Okay. Thank you. Now let's go, you guys, with Norma Gonzalez. You are Stephanie. William Livorio, you are Richard. Action. Okay. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am. Uy, I am teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are, how are things with you? Uh, I'm five fire now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very Ex stressful job uh, and sometimes it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Exciting, excellent, <laughs> very good. It happens, Normita. A veces nos pasa, right? Sabemos cómo se pronuncia algo, pero en el momento se necesita. <laughs> it happens, it's normal. Thank so, you. Yeah. Don't, don't worry. All right, everyone, let's check. Solo pronuncio estas palabras. Ah, not bad. Not bad es cuando decimos, mm, no está mal, all right? No está mal. Podría estar mejor, pero no está mal. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's see somebody else. Yami Rajo, you are Stephanie. Alejandro Garcia, you are Richard. Action. Hi, Stephanie. I heard you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. 
The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I fire on fire. Now you know. That's exciting. Yes, but but is very strengthful job and sometimes it is dangerous. That's great, excellent, Johnny and Alejandro, very good. No mistakes. You guys, eh, notan que aquí hay una coma. En la conversation, quizás los que ya la tuvieron en, en el video, notarán que dicen, not bad, I'm a firefighter now, you know, right? Creo que lo dicen corrido ellos ahí, pero tiene una coma. Entonces nosotros, como estamos practicando, respetamos esa coma. Entre el now y el you know, right? We need to respect it. Mm, and one last person. No, one last couple. Arnoldo Castellón, you haven't passed, right? Usted no pasaba, ¿verdad, Arnoldo? No. Okay. You are Richard and... Okay. Hey, Stephanie. I heard you have a new job. Yes, I am teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? No, but I firefighter. No, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's very stressful, Joe, and sometimes it's dangerous. That's correct, guys. Very good. Everyone, all of you, all of my participants, so far you have a good pronunciation. I'm proud of it. Let's move on, everybody. Placement of adjectives, right? Placement of adjectives. Donde vamos a posicionar, right? Placement is posicionar. So we have two structures. Aquí no están las estructuras eh, bien largas, por así decirlo, right? O completas. Aquí solo les dice B plus adjective y adjective plus now. Pero yo en la otra eh, guiding slide, sí ya se las tengo ahí identificadas. Okay, so we have B plus adjective. A firefighter's job is dangerous. Esta S que ustedes ven aquí es de possessive adjectives, right? Oh, yes, possessive adjectives. No vayan a pensar que es verb to be. Es possessive adjectives. A fire's fighter, no, a fire's job, a firefighter's job is dangerous. A doctor's job is stressful. That's true, right? ¿Qué sucede aquí? El B. Lo que conocemos como verb to be es este is, right? Y dangerous es un adjective aquí. Lo mismo que stressful, adjective, right? Then we have adjective plus noun. A firefighter has a dangerous job. Nuestro noun, el adjective sigue siendo dangerous, pero nuestro noun ahora se vuelve la palabra job, all right? Then you have a doctor has a stressful job. The noun is job once again, and a stressful is the object. Okay, let's check. Como esta palabra es difícil, firefighters, los voy a poner a pronunciarlo acá, algunos. Las oraciones completas, right? Nancy Gutierrez, please, me regala las oraciones con B plus object. I, I find it funny. John is dangerous. Mm -hmm. My doctor half is stressful. Excellent. Repeat after me. Job. Job. Excellent. Very good, Nancy. Thank you. Daisy Carolina, adjective plus noun. A larger flight has a dangerous hope. A doctor has a stressful Oh. Repeat after me. Job. Job. Excellent. Very good. Recuerden, everybody. Recordemos que esta, um, la J suena en inglés como J. All right, J. So, cuando decimos juice, y en este caso job, le estamos dando ese sonido que nos plantea en el alfabeto. Right? Let's remember that. 
Now, everybody, let's move on to the guiding structure. Ahora sí, la estructura clave que necesito que ustedes tengan. Article, a or an. Esos son los dos articles que vamos a utilizar, right? Cualquiera de esos dos. A or an. Plus profession. Plus s. Plus verb to be. Plus object. Right? Esos, esta es la structure. Les he puesto aquí los adjectives. Esos son los que menciona el video. Right? Esos son los que plantea el video y por eso se los he puesto aquí. Tenemos adjectives. Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. Right? Boring, aburrido. Easy, fácil. Dangerous, peligroso. Exciting, emocionante. Difficult, eh, pues difícil. Stressful, estresante. Right? Now, copy this guiding structure, please. Copiamos esta estructura y si también gustan los adjectives. Finished? So I can move on. Se terminaron. Paso a la siguiente guiding slide. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Guiding examples, right? No los voy a dejar irse al agua sin unos guiding examples. A lawyer's job is hard, right? Hard, este sería mi um, object, all right? Tengo el B. O sea, el verb to be is, y luego tengo hard, right? Que sería mi object. Hard es difícil también, o duro. Literalmente significa duro, right? So, a waiter's job is difficult, right? El trabajo de un mesero es difícil, right? There you have it. Those are the examples. Only those two examples. Hasta aquí, antes de ponerlos a practicar. Con la estructura que les planteé y estos ejemplos, ¿tenemos alguna question or doubt? No, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Ahora sí. Entonces, let's move on, my friends. Practice time. Estos adjectives son los mismos que acaban de copiar, right? Um, Yami, please, tell me the instructions. Practice time. Work individual. Create two sentences using the structure B plus adjective as question if needed. That's correct. Excellent. All right. Van a crear dos um, oraciones utilizando la estructura del B plus adjective. Right. Eso es todo lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Pueden hacer uso de estos adjectives, no hay ningún problema. Right.
teacher. Yes. De casualidad, de casualidad por, por ejemplo, en esa oración. She is very stressful in your office. She is very stressful in her office. Sí, está correcto. Está utilizando el be y está utilizando el adjetivo. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Very good. Eso es lo que tienen que hacer, right? Que utilicemos el be y el adjetivo. Lo único, my friend, lo único que ahí no estaría utilizando el article, el artículo que nos pide, all right? El a o el an, plus profession, right? Correcta si está dudas, pero obviamos en los articles y la profession. William, do you have a question or are you finished? Finish. Okay, tell me your sentences, please. Hola. Okay, espero que estén bien, teacher. A pilot Joe is dangerous. A security guard Joe is very stressful. Mm -hmm. That's correct, sir. A security no se olvide de las S, right? ¿Dónde lleva la S entonces? Security en guards. No, ajá, en pilot sí, pero en el caso de security guards. Security, security guards. En, la, en guards la lleva. Security guards is, is very stressful. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Very good. Angel, your turn. Thank you. Vamos a ver. Eh, an actor's Joe is exciting. Uh -huh. A driver's Joe is dangerous. Mm, that's true, sir. Nowadays, it's really dangerous. Excellent. Very good, Angel. Now, do I have somebody else? Alguien más que quiere decirme sus sentences? Sin pena, amiguitos. Teacher. Yes, Jamie? ¿Cómo se dice contador? Accountant. Accountant. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now, let me check. We have Arnoldo. Vamos a ir por, por orden de lista. Ah, no, just kidding. <laughs> Tenemos Arnoldo, after Arnoldo, Ceci, y luego es Ceci, Norma. Okay, action, Arnoldo. Okay. <laughs> a cashier Joe is stressful. A nurse Joe is difficult. True. True, sir. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Action. A chef job is interesting. A flight attendant's job is easy. Mm -hmm. That's true, Ceci. Thank you. It's not that easy, but it's true. Excellent. Thank you, Ceci. Action. Norm. A content job is stressful. A chef job is hard. That's true too. Excellent. Yeah, it's true. Imagine yo con sumar ya me la cabeza. All right. Imagine an accountant. That would be difficult. Excellent. Very good, Norma. Now, Jami, do you want to participate? Yes, teacher. Uh, it's the same the sentence as the uh, of my partner. Norma. <laughs> okay. A contact, eh, a contact's job is stressful. Mm -hmm. A teacher's job is difficult. Excellent. Thank you, Jami. Very good job. All right, everybody. Excellent sentences. Ya ven, teniendo la estructura, todos trabajaron perfectly. All right. Excellent. Very good job, everyone. All right. So I got to leave the class now. Me tengo que ir, everybody, pero ya solo nos falta una estructura y unos readings que vamos a utilizar mañana como para practicar nuestra lectura, right? And that's pretty much it for today's class. And I will see you tomorrow. No se olviden de conectarse mañana, right? Porque vamos a hacer el midterm exam, all right? Bye. Have a great bye. night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. 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 bye.